Side questing, questing around the sides, not the middle. That's the main quest. We're going around to the left and right and the top and bottom. Side quest, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of that on the spot 10 seconds before we hit the record button. <laughs> Somebody got to hear the song twice. Yeah, you can hear it too if you rewind a bit. The song <laughs> is always there. It's the side quest song. Here we go. Go, go. There's nothing quite like kicking back and letting the music flow through you. Yeah, That's man. what I'm doing. Letting the music flow. You get in on my flow? I don't want to get in in your flow, though. Out of anybody I, I could in this entire pervert town, you're one of the <laughs> last ones I would ever want to get in on the flow with. It's just a copy of Orinoco flow. It's just Enya. <laughs> with that guy, though, uh, we've gotten all the music discs we need for, for Betty to cure everyone's depression over, <laughs> over here. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Wow, what a song. It makes me feel like I can do anything. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. Katy Perry's fight song. Uh -huh. I can feel this song calling to my inner warrior. Yeah, I can take on the world. It's time I took action, made a stand. Hell yeah, that's it's it. It's time I that's make a change. It's time I break right away. Hmm? Be a force for change, brother. Here's a gun. <laughs> Yeah, when you also pop the music discs in, Betty starts dancing. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is how a little, like, five or six-year-old girl dances to metal. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Seems accurate. I'm gonna have to try that out. Yeah. I got a goddaughter. I got a phone. I can make this happen. Oh, yeah. I know this one. Marlene and I danced to it before. That's wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong! This is how you get down with this jam. I ought to know. It was my favorite back in the day. Pay attention, kiddo. It's all in the hits. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. wow. This is how we heal a broken community. <laughs> Come on, little lady. <laughs> and cause a broken hip. <laughs> the, this quest uh, is another one of the ones that feels a lot like a Yakuza quest because it's full of NPCs <laughs> doing really goofy canned dance animations. Yeah, Betty's got a different dance for this song. Hell yeah. Look at her go. It's good. It's very cute. You're Betty, gonna invent Shinra Kids Bop. Betty has some of the most impressive, like, real-time hair physics I've seen in a game so far. It's just... <laughs> it's so flowing and bouncy. It's great. <laughs> uh, also, an Easter egg I haven't shown off yet. Uh, if you're, like, in the menu, picking different songs, uh, your other party members will gather around you, and if you just hang out by the jukebox that's playing whatever song, eventually everyone will start bopping to the song a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it. Cloud just taps his foot, but everyone else. Yeah, Barrett's getting into it. Barrett loves this song. I actually forget what Aerith, what Aerith's animation is. I'll have to go back at some other point and, and get her by a jukebox. She starts doing, like... Some weird hippie dance. It kind of looks like Tai Chi, but one and a half times mm. speed. <laughs> Aerith seems like somebody who may have been uh, into interpretive dance at some point. Ooh, I like this one. It's really peaceful, don't you think? Um, is it okay if I stay and listen for a bit? This song is a favorite of mine. Sure. I like that lady asking for jukebox permission. Yeah, from the little from girl. Betty, the queen of the jukebox. It's hers now, yeah. Isn't this Jukebox great? tyrant. Everyone's smiling again. Thanks so much for the help. Our pleasure. I think we needed it too. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Until the day our victory fanfare rings out through all of Midgar, our battle will rage on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get, getting everyone pumped up w via music uh, also gets Barrett pumped up, and so he uh, he gets an extra uh, skill point book. These youngins ain't got nothing on me. You'll see. 
I'm up, I'm dancing, and I'm feeling good. It doesn't always happen. I don't I don't remember if it happened in this recording, but this old man, sometimes when he spawns, his dance animation takes him just slightly into the bench, so he just starts clipping through it. <laughs> and it's just really funny, because he's saying, like, you know, these youngins got nothing on me, and then he just starts phasing through reality itself. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't stop thinking though about the the special like relationship uh, uh, conversations mm -hmm. and how it's sneaky like kind of good design that if you've been spending a lot of time with Aerith if you really care about Aerith and you're yeah. the most likely to want to go straight to Aerith you get this scene where she's like it's fine it's cool we've got HBO Max in here I'm watching Dune you can <laughs> yes. do all the side quests you want yeah yeah it's you know, even though we had talked a couple episodes ago about it, it's like, damn, it sucks that, like, Barrett's thing is an optional thing when it's, like, so key to his, like, to his character and all of that. Like, yeah, it, it is, like, uh, because the, the mechanics behind that stuff is not explicitly broadcasted to you, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool how that stuff, like, happens a little, like, natural, like, naturally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it reminds me, although it's a little more arcane, I guess, but in Silent Hill 2, the different endings, kind of depending on how much you, like, look at <laughs> like, different items and stuff, and that influences, like, what happens in the story a bit. Mm hmm <laughs> I love... I love that. It, it really makes me think of like uh, 70s, 80s uh, kit bash spaceships. Oh, yeah. Like it, it looks like something this from, from Star Wars or Alien. <sighs> yes, it really does. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. Are, are you just thinking of, of any of the hag? <laughs> I am. Soul. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Yep, another skill point book for Cloud. But yeah, this is going to be not they, timed out together not at all. No, no. Uh, but yes, a later character in uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure right. sounds like that she's voiced by uh, the lady who voiced Rita Repulsa in Power Rangers. Turns out she because actually is. she is. And it turns out Marl here is also voiced by the lady who voiced Rita Repulsa. <laughs> Barbara Goodson, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah she just voices like either witchy or like old hag character <laughs> characters. This is bad. <sighs> oh, hey Barrett. Hey, how's it going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them, I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. There is one. Hidden underground somewhere. Yeah, and it's full of we're monsters. way ahead of you, bud. Mm -hmm. Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time before these monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but but no one else can do it. It's okay, well, it's yeah. mostly bugs. So help it's us fine. Out. Look, if we just hand you one of Barrett's guns, can you do, like, the the maximum... J just the move where you dump a bunch of bullets into bugs? Because, like... <laughs> we can just lend you one. We got, like, four other guns right now. And a scissor hand, like... Mm -hmm. You can all have giant gun hands. Yeah. He's got enough to spare. Give Marl one. We got a bunch of materia slots and everything. They're upgraded. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. Even if you're, like, level one, this should still work out pretty good. We've been getting tremors ever since last night. Roads are collapsing, and sinkholes are opening up all over. We can't search for survivors near the underground lab. Too dangerous. What with the monsters down there? Yeah, I hope any survivors who, like, went underground here to, to hide or something didn't go so deep that they <laughs> went into the <laughs> evil secret Shinra lab full of things that wanted to bite their faces off. It's pretty deep in, like... Well, I, I set up my, uh, uh, my wares here, uh, the old streets closed down, mm. and everybody that comes buying is a weird purple goo man. <laughs> <laughs> they seem very cranky.
So yeah, the, the underground lab and, and the sewers are like the two dungeons of the game that are actually possible to just revisit whenever. Um, mm -hmm. So we got to go back pretty close to the beginning of here. Like, you got to fight through a bunch of enemies on the way. But uh, you might recall when we were first coming through here with Barrett, there was like a really big door covered in security tape that we were <laughs> that was shut off. Mm -hmm. uh, that had a bunch of something really big and evil sounding behind it, just growling all the time. Oh boy. Yep. Hey. Yeah, so for Cloud, we're setting him back up to be big time magic man. Uh, also, you know, has his faith back. <laughs> Able to pray again. Mm -hmm. um, Barrett's a bit of a magic tank. Uh, we're giving him his gun again. This fight that's coming up uh, is not... Having a melee Barrett for that doesn't work out too well. Yeah, Tifa uh, going for like the the speed build and also giving her uh, the steel materia because uh, the the thing we're about to fight here has like a a, a really rare item on him. Just phase through that barrier like the old dancing man showed you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's a new ability learned, inspired by the old man's dance. Also very yakuza. <laughs> Here I go. Hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's a big boy behind this door. Are you a friend of Abzu? <laughs> you got the horns and tail up for it. I don't know. So, yeah, this is a behemoth. Uh, these are, in Final Fantasy <laughs> games, usually very late game enemies because they're... Even though they would just be, like, random encounters usually, it's just, like, a random encounter that's also a boss fight. Now, when Barrett shot at asshole right there, was was that a called shot? Was he, like, naming his target? <laughs> Maybe. You know. It's a, it's a good idea that that might be a weak spot. But yeah, this is a Type-0 behemoth. This is one bred by Shinra. Mm -hmm. So it looks a little different than the normal behemoth. It's got a weird, like, cyber face plate on its, on its head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got an enchanted ring on him that you can steal. There's only two of these in the game, I think. There might be a Ooh. third one. That's how you summon a genie. Ooh. Ooh. One of his moves is just question marks. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> so the behemoth, you cannot fill its stagger meter up, like, at all. Uh, it, it just doesn't move. You can target different parts of its body. Its upper and lower bodies have separate that. health bars. If you drain the health out of one of them, uh, one of the, the halves of his body, he won't be able to move anymore. And he'll slowly try to, like, heal that section of his body, but if he can also drain all the health from the other half, he, he just instantly becomes staggered. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's got like a rage mode that gives him a lesser resistance to all forms of damage, so <laughs> you, you just gotta kind of just wait for him to, to turn rage mode off. Yeah, lo love all those bullets that did one HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can also try to target its horns, but unless it's staggered, the horns are just completely immune to damage. Mm-hmm. It's one of the behemoth's main gimmicks, even in other Final Fantasies, is uh, if you try to cast any form of magic on it, it will uh, hit you with a counter flare spell, which uh, is unblockable and always hits, uh, and it just does an ass load of magic damage to you, so just do not, don't even dare hit it with magic. Yeah, if you actually are, if you're able to break the horns off his head while it's staggered, then it won't be able to counter your magic anymore. Anyway, time to bring your girlfriend back to life. Yeah. One well, of your five girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down one girlfriend in this game already, and a second got captured, so... Enough of you! I guess it's just, uh... It's just Marl. <laughs> yeah, Marl's also one of the girlfriends. Yeah. Why do you think Ren's so cheap? <laughs> Give him hell! Let me Someone brought this up in one of the comments many, many episodes ago. I think it was when, you know, when you see the, the 
Jesse and, and Biggs die. Like they were, somebody was saying like, I don't know if I could take their death seriously because couldn't you just use a phoenix down on them? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. Uh, there is an earlier Final Fantasy, I think four? I think it's four. It might be five. I can't remember. Where uh, uh, a character does die, and you do see the party members like throwing Phoenix Downs on the guy to like bring him back to life, and it doesn't work because mm -hmm. Phoenix Downs don't bring back people from death. They just they just resuscitate people who have been knocked out. Mm -hmm. it, can it cannot heal lethal wounds. Bring it home. Hang back. You could just have every single Final Fantasy have a scene of somebody <laughs> to establish that, but at a certain point, it's just like. Seems kind of redundant eventually. Yeah. Either, you know, just accept it that's just a game mechanic or, you know, it doesn't work on actual dead people. Mm -hmm. This monster looks like a velvet painting. <laughs> yeah, when he's all like this. Yeah, this fight, this fight's. I don't know. There, there's nothing too complicated going on with him, but he's mm -hmm. just a super aggressive enemy, and he's he's just a pretty fun, like, optional boss to fight. I got this. Just gotta keep Tifa alive, because the next girlfriend to, to come up is is Kyrie, and nobody wants that. Oh man, nah, no she thank really you. She really doesn't want it either, but, <laughs> you know, what happens happens. Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> I don't want to date a, a girl that looks like all, her entire Pokemon team would just be fucking Crow Gunk over and over. <laughs> it's like a Crow Gunk and an Obstagoon, and that's it. All right, I'm I'm just want this this video's comments to have a lot of people giving like full five Pokemon teams to different mm -hmm. characters in the game. I'm curious. I want to know. Yeah. Also, I love uh, using dumping so many abilities in this guy at once. That you just, <laughs> it's just constant explosions. You can't even see what they're doing anymore. That's fun. That's we, we like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, destroyed his horns. So now we can just cast magic on him and <laughs> he won't be able to counter it. He looks so sad without him now. I know. You got this. My turn. Yeah, surprisingly enough, even though this guy looks like, uh, you know, he's a pretty tough optional boss, it feels like he should be an enemy that's like just immune to all status effects, but he really isn't. A mm -hmm. lot of them still work on him, thankfully. And also, like, being able to cast magic on him you can get rid of the... You can stagger him a second time, like, way faster by... by <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. This is also, like, I said earlier, like, Barrett is not very good with melee in this fight. It's just because this enemy is way too fucking fast. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett yeah. is too yeah. slow to catch up with this th this thing. <laughs> Look at him go. Come on, come on. Come on, big guy. You can do it. His Barrett's like dodge in this game feels a lot like the fat roll from Dark Souls, where you're re wearing really heavy armor. Keep it together. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yeah. No more games. It's over. I'm really curious what Cloud's Pokemon team would be. Mm -hmm. It has to be like all the serious cool ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think Scyther's in there. Yeah, Scyther's in there. Uh, Cloud seems like the type of dude to use dragon types. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause they, you know, he's probably got a Charizard. <laughs> he's right? got a dark Charizard. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, uh, so when you destroy one of the, the halves of the behemoth, you, you think he wouldn't be able to attack, but he just gets a different attacks based on which half of his body is still uh, able to fight. Uh, that's fun. That's so good. if like his front half is the part that can still attack, you would think, okay, if I'm if I'm behind him, he can't hit me, but he will lift up his limp half to smash you with it. Uh, it's a really cool animation for that too. Look at him go, big guy. Now's our chance. See if it can be 
Yeah, because of Tifa's transference module, uh, she was able to build up her limit gauge, uh, limit break, mm -hmm. pretty quick. So, so she's just going right for the rectal exam. Yeah, with the dolphin, <laughs> dolphin up the butt. Well, the, the dolphin is an accredited uh, medical professional. <laughs> yeah, the the certificate's in our key items right now. Anyways, <laughs> here's here's its question mark attack. Ooh. Once you kill it, uh, it does one final desperation attack that, yeah, lots of rocks. It is totally possible that this wipes out your entire team if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it's done. The behemoth is a shitty DM, and if things don't go his way, rocks <laughs> fall, everyone dies. <laughs> yep. All right, guys, let us pray. Ah, oh, yes. Usually Aerith would direct us in this, but uh, I will take over since I am the one with the, the next highest magic stat. Over the teeth, through the gums. It's the only prayer I know, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this side quest also links into uh, the one for the doctor back in the Sector 5 slums, because one of the three ingredients he needed for medicine was a, beh a behemoth horn. That better be some good medicine. <laughs> That better be medicine to for like the entire community for the next like three years. Like, how how much powder can you get from a single behemoth horn? Like, it's huge. That's the medicine that could have saved Jesse. Ah, oh, damn it! You took care of those monsters. Oh, thank you. That's one less big problem to worry about. We owe you. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong. You hear? You too, buddy. But hey, we're grounders. We don't break easy. Oh, well, we I know, know it's what it is much, Pokemon, then. But take mm -hmm. this with my thanks. Uh, so Weimer gives us a, a wrecking ball. And when I first saw that, I was like, oh, is that like a, a weird attack item or something? But no, uh, the wrecking ball is another melee weapon for Barrett. Oh, <laughs> and it can do the smackdown. <laughs> it can do the smackdown. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that this one's just a big spiky ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, compared to the the steel pincers, uh, the wrecking ball is way more based on just physical attack than being a, like a balance between the two. It's got some upgrades to fill up his ATB gauge a little bit faster. Just a lot of attack power upgrades. Mm -hmm. Also like some buff durations, stuff like that. Uh, and while there's no like direct like defense upgrades, there are ones that increase just how much his block reduces damage as well. Also, mm -hmm. uh, one of the first weapons that can get a full six slots on it. Hey. Uh, and it's also got that really good uh, bloodsucker ability where every time an enemy dies, regardless of whether or not Barrett kills it or not, uh, he just gets health back. You would expect a lot of materia slots in this one because like it's it's got a big ball. Why can't mm -hmm. it hold little balls? Right. Put the balls, all the balls together. <laughs> the balls want to be friends. Yeah. <laughs> balls are drawn to other balls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how it is in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's only uh, two side quests left uh, to wrap up, as well as uh, before we head on to the main plot as well. Uh, just a couple other small details to point out uh, that are pretty, pretty easily missed. I like the purple edge on that sword in, in like, the, the right lighting. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Now, now, it's still early. Might be he's asleep. Are you sure you're okay with this? I mean, what choice do we have? And we'll be set for life if he picks me for his bride. Oh, mm. boy. Man, desperation, huh? Yeah. So, uh, hey, hey, y'all. Uh, one, uh, I think, pretty sure Don Corneo is going to be assassinated within a couple days, so <laughs> that's not going to work I mean, out. Two, just I don't. I already was picked to be his bride, and let me tell you, I don't feel safe. Mm -mm. We did kill the thing uh, that we think eats all of his wives, so. <laughs> So it could be worse. Yeah, but still, just don't. I, here, I know a guy who could tell you a really bad experience he had with Don Corneo. His name's Leslie. Mm-hmm.
You know when you see him. He looks just like Chadley, but a little older. <laughs> he looks like the guy that would be named Leslie. <laughs> yeah. I like that uh, that alley we just came out of. The 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 scummy criminals that were in the alley guarding that treasure chest before were just guarding a, a single Moogle medal. <laughs> <laughs> It's important. That was uh, that that was the payment they were guarding for a a, a drug deal that was going to go down later that night. I guess that's what Moggy's <laughs> secret business really is. <laughs> He's bringing happiness to the world. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in the the most the uh, going on? <laughs> above the board. Uh, ways, but... This is what happens if you want to be outside, uh, uh Shinra's regulation. Mm-hmm. You want to shop for materia now? I'm surprised this guy here doesn't come back for one more side quest. Mm-hmm. He needs new sauce. Sauce 2, the sequel to Sauce. Yeah, he's had too much now, and, uh... He needs an even... an even... Uh, more legendary sauce. <laughs> Heard this kid Moggy's got what I'm after. <laughs> if it isn't Cloud. Hmm? The man with a gun for an arm. What? Got a problem? No, but you might. Corneo's men are searching high and low for an avalanche member. Hey, that could be anybody. Come on. Mm -hmm. placed a very impressive bounty on you and your friends' heads. And Guys look like Baird are a dime a dozen. <laughs> Ain't these fools got anything better to do? You should also know that you and that arm of yours were spotted in the Sector 5 slums. Apparently, you were loitering in a rather lovely flower garden. Oh, yeah? Wait. This is bad. Really bad. Let's move. Malicious Goons. Oh, man, I hate Malicious Goons. What a fun name for a quest, Malicious Goons. Mm -hmm. uh, so for this fight, uh, this is something you wouldn't know to do ahead of time, but on a second playthrough, it makes the, the upcoming fight in the side quests much easier. Uh, we're giving... Because we got two warding materia, we're giving Cloud and Tifa the linked pair of warding with the subversion materia so that they have some protection from instant death. <laughs> They've got a 25% chance right now of surviving instant death. <laughs> oh, Cloud, thank goodness you're here. A group of Corneo's men just came through, headed for Aerith's place. Huh? Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. Yeah, everyone's been given weapons that uh, have like the just highest physical attack value. come back instead of running. Oh, you bet your ass they'll come back. Now shut up and keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, yeah. Well, not like we're going anywhere with this thing anyway. How's he holding up? Beats me. Ugh. His face creeps me out. Better watch where he points that thing. Better watch your mouth, bitch. You don't want to give him a reason to hold a grudge, you know. Hey, it's him! Gunarm! Heard you punks were looking for me. Didn't want to keep you waiting. Hell yeah. Wait, you? Ah, uh, should have known you were one of them. But am I? Whatever. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, let him loose. Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, good buddy. <laughs> world to hurt now. Pack him to bits, you hear me? That's the new Don Corneo. No. ain't gonna give us the bounty otherwise. So yes, this is a Tunberry. Uh, he's really cute, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, these are late game enemies. Whenever they show up in Final Fantasies, because uh, they will just kill the the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> they will just drop you instantly. Okay, that's a uh, Tunberries are really slow little guys that very slowly shamble towards. Uh, one of your party members, and once they get close to him, they will just jab him with a knife, and it just kills him instantly. Uh, <laughs> Tunberry's can Yeah, but you can't stay mad at that I face. I know, they're adorable. But yeah, if if this Tunberry whiffs one of his uh, instant kill attacks, he will get pressured from that. Um, you can steal elixirs from these guys. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, and it's not just he has he has three different instant death moves here. The the little X icon. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a, uh, he has a long range instant death thing. So if you're just trying to stay far away from him, that doesn't quite work out. He's also got a, a move that inflicts the, the stop status effect on you. So you will just freeze in time and then he'll just walk up to that person frozen in time and just jab him. <laughs> and Barrett's already dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you're if you don't have some type of protection against uh, instant death, this is a fight where you're either going to be using the revival materia a whole lot or you're going to be burning through the Phoenix Downs. You've been <laughs> picking up in treasure chests throughout the whole game. <laughs> Keep it together. The good thing is the Tunberry doesn't have a ton of health, even if you don't, like, stagger him. Mm -hmm. Also, he's got this little attack that will just uh, pin somebody in place. Like, okay, I know this, this is a dangerous, powerful enemy, but it does look like you're just beating up a child <laughs> that's know. trying to do trick-or-treat. Like, yeah, I know. So yeah, Barrett's Smackdown move, it's a big AoE ground pound. Um, the Tunberry is just glued to the fucking ground. He is not an enemy you can juggle. But any enemies that can be juggled, if they get hit by or are nearby uh, the explosion from SmackDown, they will just get launched really high into the air. It's on you. I got this. Even without the launch, uh, without the the launching ability of SmackDown, it just does an ass load of damage. Deal with that. Mm -hmm. Take a shot. Oh, you go feel it! Let's see it now! <laughs> I love shouting see you in hell at a shiny little eight-year-old. <laughs> we give up, uh, okay? We won't say a word to no one about you being here. Really. Honest. That's right. You'll tell everyone we were never here. That the rumors were bullshit. And if we hear about you, or any of your friends, coming around here ever again, You'll answer to my boot. Yes, sir! They didn't even make it all the way to Aerith's house. It's mm -mm. fine. It's fine. <laughs> we won't even tell Elmira and Marlene that this happened. Like, <laughs> they, they could just keep having lunch or whatever it is they're doing right now. Marlene must be ecstatic to be at, at El, uh, Elmira's house, though, because, like, that's the this is the most plant life she's ever seen in her entire <laughs> she life. She did love the one flower. <laughs> The kids are back. I'm so relieved. Thank you for your help. I need to carry myself with more confidence, or these kids are going to walk all over me. Um, I'm surprised that when you go over to Elmira's house that Marlene isn't just, like, rolling around and frolicking in all the f <laughs> in the garden <laughs> or something. She should be pumped to see all those flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, easy to miss conversation <laughs> here. Everyone's good at heart, but sometimes... Are you saying it's possible for someone to not be bad? They just do bad things. Whoa. Is there no saving them? Yeah, this is, this is a conversation that doesn't come up until around this point of the game. Uh, where people talk about Leslie. That nice boy who ended up working for Corneo. I used to think he would grow up and run his own shop. He changed so much after his parents passed away. Yeah, this is a small thing, but uh, it's like the only time anyone else in the entire game <laughs> brings up <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> um, yeah, also, the final side quest here. We finally got all the junk for this guy. Yeah. Oh, did you manage to get everything I needed? Thank you. This ought to be more than enough. I can see why Aerith put her trust in you. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. No, I meant the other You've behemoth horn. Oh, uh, the left it's one. To me now. The left one, the left one, not the right one. Handy. Yeah, that, that side quest gets us a skill point book uh, for Aerith, so... <laughs> wherever she's being held by Shinra right now, she probably just felt like she leveled up a tiny bit. Dang, look at all that green! Look at all that green! And that's, uh... There's still some more optional content later in the game as well as, you know, on a second playthrough, but as far as uh, the actual, like, little side quests for NPCs go, that's all of them. We're finished with them. Ooh. It's all wrapped up. Except... <gasps> Chadley. Oh, Chadley. Yes, we do have Chadley uh, quests, actually. Again, one of them we just will not be able to do this first playthrough. Get into work anytime soon, so might as well drink. 
The office must be crazy right now. What with everyone dealing with this? What's the cat have to say? <laughs> Cat's at the dinner table on a stool, mm -hmm. joining in the conversation. Come he's on, a, it's a, he's a person. Stupid plate. Everyone's gonna find out. This cat's a person. I told the boss I'm visiting family. Damn, I should have thought of that. <laughs> Were you also in Walmart last night, Cat? I I just love that there's some people who. <laughs> are just frustrated about the the awful tragedy from a night ago because now people are going to find out I was in pervert town when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we do have uh, another VR mission for, for Chadley here. Uh, and this is one I've held off on doing for a while because, uh, damn, it's a hard fight. Also, Cloud's mm -hmm. Mithril Saber, Saber here uh, has a really nice uh, MP regeneration uh, upgrade here. It actually makes the MP regeneration noticeable, otherwise, <laughs> without the upgrade, you, you could go through the whole game and not even realize your MP does slowly uh, regenerate. <laughs> yeah, upgrading uh, Baird's Big Bertha, this is another fight where you really want Baird's gun, gun arm instead of his melee weapons. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And Tifa upgrading her, her methyl claws for the extra magic damage and the elemental damage and all that stuff. Um, so this fight we're about to do uh, is for the summon Leviathan. Mm -hmm. There's no water element in this game, but the game acts as if, you know, what what is water usually weak to in RPGs? It's lightning, and so he's weak to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, uh, we're giving, we're, we're, we're putting the HP absorption on Cloud's uh, maxed out lightning materia, because, uh, damn, if you link that up to an element that something is weak to, you can heal yourself a lot. <laughs> Uh, so Bear is wearing the enchanted ring we stole from the behemoth. Uh, it makes uh, what finger would that even fit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's big. Uh, it's on Bear's thumb. Uh, but yeah, the enchanted ring makes uh, buffs last longer, uh, and that does stack with weapon upgrades that do the same thing as well. Um, but yeah, Barrett uh, getting beefed up with HP ups. Uh, also has a lightning elemental. Uh, combo hooked on up, hooked up on him because uh, this is mm -hmm, a boss mm -hmm. is also kind of hard to actually physically punch. <laughs> um, yeah, Tifa also with the lightning uh, HP absorb, uh, and yeah, it's she's mostly just going to be here to be an extra person to revive people if they die, and also to to put haste on Barrett because like, damn, Barrett's gonna is <laughs> Barrett's gun arm is very important to this fight. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Cloud, I want you to fight this one. This is what I'm into now. <laughs> I am over Fat Chocobo. I like dragons now. I invite now. you to ready your portable battle simulator. How much flailing around is the party doing in public while they're wearing these <laughs> VR things? Like... Chadley's putting up, like, little foam barriers. <laughs> There's a velvet rope around the party. <laughs> Aw. Look, don't touch. Oh, yeah, he's charging people a nickel just to, like, laugh at you. <laughs> so Leviathan is big, big dragon, big it's water dragon. Big old water dragon. So the Leviathan uh, is the deity that the people of Wutai worship. Ah, oh, okay. And you can beat up their god, fuck you. <laughs> you can beat up and then summon their god like a Pokemon, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is weak to lightning, uh, lesser resistances to just magic in general. Um, don't even dare try to use fire on it. And this is one of the bosses where it's just like, oh, it is immune to basically every single status effect. Rude. Not on you. This is a boss that it likes to move around a lot, especially later on in the fight, and sometimes is completely unreachable by by melee, which is why you you really want Barrett <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to have the gun arm. I love the wings. I like the wings. Yeah. 
course, you know, summons in Final Fantasy VII and also, uh, I just did it there, but uh, Tifa's parry slide actually lets her slide underneath that mouth laser and take no damage. Very good. Very it's really, good. It's very cool. Yeah, unless, like, I could have tried to do this fight when it was first available, but this... If, if you're not about level 30 while trying to do this fight, you will get fucking wrecked by him. He just does so much goddamn damage. <laughs> um... That's what you get for trying to kill your allies? Mm, God. <laughs> yeah. It's very rude. Yeah, this is a... It's a good thing we didn't have this summon earlier, because, like, if Shinra ever caught, like, news footage of you summoning <laughs> Wutai's God, that basically <laughs> confirms everything they're saying. Oh, damn. Yeah, he just fucking bites you sometimes. Where'd you so go, you. Barrett? <laughs> Yeah, because it's got a bit of like a resistance to magic damage. Like, even though it's it's weak technically to lightning, it's all it's really doing is filling up a stagger meter more than other magic elements would. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What I was gonna say earlier is, uh, you know, summons in Final Fantasy games and the PS1 were just like big time like 3D tech demos. Like, look what we can do with graphics these days. And yeah, Leviathan yeah. was like the re like the big one that they showed off in like preview footage all the time. It was just like, damn, look at this dragon we animated. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> in fact, if you uh, played the demo, the demo of the original Take seven, uh, Leviathan was the summon you were given uh, to, to use in the demo. The, the demo is also weird in that you were just doing the, the very start of the game, just the, the uh, Mako Reactor 1 bombing mission, but you had Aerith in your party for it, too. <laughs> no need to panic. Yeah, she's she's here for the cause. She's part of it. Yeah. Maybe not in the timeline, but, like, she would. Mm -hmm. I got this. Leviathan has this, this really big, unavoidable move called Tidal Wave. Uh, the only way you can avoid it uh, is if you do a lot of damage to it while it's charging up. You can cancel him out of it. But otherwise, like, if you want to survive that attack, you, like, have to put shields up and stuff, because it will just wipe yeah, you yeah. out otherwise. There we go. Now it's time for some fun. Oh, look at that face. That's a good dragon face. It's... Dude, the, the, the model for Leviathan is really fucking good looking. Tifa can finally do things. Yeah, she yes. can finally, yeah, increase the stagger percentage up. Yeah, like you could target its like its tail fin and and the the center of it and stuff, and that doesn't do like you can't break those parts like in the Behemoth fight. It's just like it's other targets that are sometimes easier to hit than its head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in its second phase, it just fucking flies. Good luck hitting it with melee. <laughs> and it's got these little, these little water twisters going around. On top of them just moving around and doing constant damage to you, uh, if you try to attack Leviathan while it's behind one of those twisters, it's just immune to damage. I can't wait to see this thing get taken down by Fat Chocobo. Oh, man. It could happen. Ooh, Carbuncle? Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, it's too bad Carbuncle doesn't attack. Don't overdo it. Also, that's the, uh... We have one of the barrier materia completely maxed out now, so, uh... Mm -hmm. The third and final spell you unlock on that is... Uh... Uh... Damn, I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but it just applies both barrier and mana wall to you at the same time. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's really pricey, though. It's like 22 MP to do, and uh, even this lane to the game, you do not have a lot of MP. Anyways, uh, time for Barrett to shoot another laser. <laughs> yes, yes. Make it time to return to the flat. I 
I love that in the very first shot of him unleashing the laser, he's just f flailing his legs everywhere because he can, can't like control the, the sheer force of this laser he's shooting. <laughs> In later remake games, like, mm -hmm. you know, no idea if they'll even be able to balance the later games where you can carry over some of your abilities. By the way, yes, we are summoning oh, Fat Chocobo. <laughs> yeah. Big boy. But I hope that you can, it, like, if you have a save file from the first game, you can at least carry, like, the limit breaks you've unlocked or something. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. That'd be something. Because in the original game, uh, every character actually has seven different limit breaks. <laughs> With them getting more and more ridiculous and, and escalations and in power. Later on in the original game, Barrett can straight up just call down an orbital laser from space. <laughs> like, the camera just zooms out and then bam, there's just like a big orbital laser <laughs> orbiting the planet that just <laughs> brings out a huge laser. Yeah, yeah. The, the only company that can rival Shinra is Umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Damn, this one's cool. Yeah. I want you to catch that Pokemon. God damn. Yeah, Leviathan's really cool. Fuck you, Fat Chocobo. You are replaced. You're dead to me. <laughs> also, I just like that the... the Oh, there's a big goofy bomb. <laughs> Good job, Fat Chocobo. All right, you're still cool. You're still cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just love that the, the detail in, in Leviathan is good enough that when you get really close to him, like, you you can see, like, the individual, like, bumps of all of its scales. Mm -hmm. you know, they're so shiny and, and pretty. It's, it's great. I was hoping that bomb would finish him off, but Leviathan had like 30 health left, so Barrett just shot it to death. <laughs> Marvelous! Leviathan, the patron deity of Wutai, is not an enemy to be trifled with. Together, you can cleanse the world of the Shinra Scourge. Now that you have enslaved the god of our allies. Yay! I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. So yeah, the final mission we got with I hope you will continue uh, to help Chadley right now is just, you know, research. like we saw before, uh, mastering at least one of each type of green magic materia. Um, and we're mastering a lot of them, or, or getting really close close to that, but the, the, the main roadblock here is the, the revival materia. Uh, mm -hmm. It takes 5,000 AP to max that out. And the only way I would be able to do that in a first playthrough is if I kept it equipped literally the entire game, the instant I got it, and mm -hmm. the instant I got that AP up materia, it was also linked to that. And even then I might have to do a bit of grinding, because I don't know if you actually <laughs> get 5,000 AP throughout the entire uh, game. <laughs> you probably get close, or just a little over, but... Uh, yeah, man. We got Leviathan. It's a really cool summon. It's a shame that there is, like, no lightning element summoned to use on him. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was the one that got cut uh, from the game. I think I brought it up before, but there was supposed to be another summon for Rama, who's just a gigantic old pissed off lightning wizard. <laughs> My good Merc, have you heard the news? The Angel of the Slum stole Corneo's fortune and gave it to the people of Sector 7! Ha <laughs> ha! The hero that Midgar needs! That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm quitting the paper and going freelance. You mean you got fired? <laughs> exclusively about our resident angel. As an independent, I may need to ask for your help again down the line. I'd appreciate any and all cooperation. What I wouldn't give to meet you, my angel. A bandit queen with a heart of gold is exactly the sort of hero our fair city needs. It's amazing. I've never felt so passionately about anything in my entire life. He said that at least eight times this week. <laughs> I love that uh, the quest that starts off with him asking you to, to find all the, 
you know, you know, find more info about the angel and, you know, her plan to steal stuff from Don Corneo. I love that, unlike every other side quest where you eventually go back to the, the quest giver, you never have to go back to that guy. Just like, fuck him. <laughs> he gave us a lead, but, like, we don't like him. Also, listen to this fucking Chocobo mix. This is one funky chocobo. This is the, the chocobo uh, mix that people were dancing to in the Sector 7 slums, like, way at the start of the game. Uh, by that pizza sign that the guy with the giant fucking knife hangs out around. <laughs> I wonder if he made it out. May all those suffering find refuge. And may the fallen find their way Oh wow, this the church is packed. Was it Christmas? Easter? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a detail that's really easy to miss, that people actually do come to the church later on. I haven't seen Aerith around lately. You don't need to worry about her. I'm sure she's out there doing her part to help the wounded. Also, I really thought, uh, since Marae is still here, I thought, you know, after you finish up the quest and you talk to, uh, uh, Damon, and how he, beco mm -hmm. he becomes a, a stand for the Angel of the Slums. I thought she would have stuff to say about it, but unfortunately she does not. You want to make a love connection? Uh. Hey. <laughs> hey. It's, uh, you know, get a, get a loving father for your troubled uh, granddaughter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's what it's going to take to set her straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that guy. Yep. Uh, but yeah, on the way back to Wall Market, there's a, a little uh, side road here that's really easy to miss unless you're paying attention to the mini map. Uh, first time I found this, it was, you know, right before I was about to head back to the main plot. I was like, wow, there must be something really good in here, but it's just a star pendant. <laughs> like, it's okay. Oh, we found the fishing mini game. Hmm. You wouldn't believe the records I found when I was cleaning out my closet. Want to take one off my hands? It's gonna cure anyone's depression. Mm. I like that. Uh, so, like I point out before, that like throughout the various Final Fantasy VII stuff, the the cell phones in them that randomly appear have upgraded to be <laughs> like contemporary cell phones. So, like in the original mm -hmm. game, they were big mm -hmm. chunky things. In the movie, they were like uh, Nokia flip phones or whatever. Um, I realized uh, a few days ago that you literally never see anyone with cell phones except for Shinra employees. <laughs> I f like, it's so advanced that, like, you They're don't even see... Yeah, it's a corporate plan. <laughs> yeah. Like, you never see anyone here with cell phones or, or even normal phones, really. And, like, everyone down here has really shitty tube TVs, but, like, Shinra mm -hmm. and... they Like, they got flat screens and stuff. It's just, like, a really big... Gap they they between... only communicate through the Chocobo Express. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're we're finally uh we're, we've wrapped everything up. It's uh time to finally climb the uh the wall to get up top. But uh there is mm -hmm. one more little thing. If you do all the side mm -hmm. quests. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you know, you help Murray, help Murray out. Uh, she leaves a letter for you right here, and it comes with a, a, a second elemental materia. Mm. Uh, and this is the second of only two in the entire game of, uh, of elemental materia. Oh, well, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. I uh, like her custom stationery. Yeah, yeah. She, she it's, uh, you know, if, if Damon were really an actual investigative journalist and not just a dumbass, uh, he would just try to trace <laughs> what printing press is making all of her business cards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. Zag. Zag on Avalanche. <laughs> hmm. 
So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Your tab is 40 million kill. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> Gonna slice President Shinra's face off with these gloves. Hell yes. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Aerith uses a Ludicolo. We all know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, she totally does.